Uh, Blend the Witness, we're a company and we're a husband and wife who we do grief counseling, we do marriage coaching, we do life coaching, uh, we do business consulting as well, and we do relationship coaching. A lot of people know us from TikTok. I'm going to tell you something. TikTok was never designed for us. My daughters kept saying, Mom, do a TikTok dance. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do a TikTok dance. And he's like, you should get on TikTok. You should get on TikTok. And my wife, after about three months, got annoyed and said, if I get on TikTok, I'm going to be famous. But I did and started doing what I normally do, annoy my husband. She tells me annoying jokes and she gets on my nerves. I will for you. <laughs> I, I'm about to. But hey, what does peanut butter and a stripper have in common? <laughs> 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 I hate you, you know that? <laughs> no butter. They both spread for bread. Every day. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. All right. All right, let me check and see what y'all have on. Hey. Sorry. What did you do with the push ups last night? Mm. Yeah, we gotta get them in this morning, right? Yes, sir. Cool. Every morning in my marriage and getting the kids ready has always been something that I wanted to do. This works for our house. Some people say that the woman should get up. That's not how we feel. My wife is not a morning person. <laughs> so the fact that she gets to sleep in a little bit is cool to me. Um, I don't like sleeping in. Once I'm up, I'm up. So it's just it just works for us that I get the kids up. Um, I see them off as a husband, as a father. That's big for me. For my boys and my girls to see the man being the one always getting up, being with them. Um, that's always been something I held uh, very endearing. Let's go land. You mean doing 75? Yes, sir. How many you want me to do? 25? 25? So every morning, my boys know, especially during school days, Monday through Friday, we are doing push-ups in the morning together. Um, it's more than just about spending time together. It's more than just about um, building that character or building muscle. It's about spending time together, pushing each other. I know I, as a grown person, I don't feel like getting up every morning at the same time doing the same routine. And I know they don't feel like it as well, but it's about pushing through. It's about making sure that you set the tone for the day. So our push-ups are more than just you know, punishment or working out. And it's about, it's about, man, how do you start your day? How you finish your day? Give me 10. <laughs> what you waiting on? Good job. How many you at? Uh, 50. Well, come on. Good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You might have a chest one day after all. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what bird chest? Uh. All right, you get ready to go. Go get your backpack, make sure it's packed, and your computer. Put it in your backpack. Oh, go put your stuff up in the backpack and get your water put up, okay? Yes, sir. Go. Thank you. I know. I wonder how Ray felt though. I know. <laughs> like, what? I have all eyes on her. And like she had that other episode where she was doing that. Girl, she has so much seasons too. Mm -hmm. She had that much, but you know. Yeah. All right, don't bring nothing. <laughs> yes, sir. Break it, you buy it. All right, come on. <laughs> come on. Where's your folder? This is Thank you. Hey, you're 
Max. Slow down. You know better, right? Right? All right, I know what you're doing. You're just going too fast. Everything else looks pretty good. All right? Yes, sir. So I guess you're gonna have ice cream tonight. Sir? You're gonna have ice cream tonight. Yeah. But you're bringing the grades home. You run up and down the hills. Yes, sir. He's on. My guy. Look for it. Now, you get ready to go. Make sure you bring your hat home. Yes, sir. Do not get in trouble today at school with this, this outfit on. Yes, sir. You are not the character. And nobody better not accidentally get hit in the face today, okay? Yes, sir. All right. You ready to go? And um, God, I feel just Father God to say, go out today and travel in grace and mercy. Protect their schools, protect their minds, and allow them to be leaders, and then focus on the purpose that you have for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You, go tell Mama bye. Yes, sir. And tell her good morning. Tell her it's time to get up. You, you get oh. ready for your stuff, okay? Yes, sir. Right. Daddy, hmm? Mama says she'll be up shortly. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what shortly means, right? <laughs> <laughs> like the third to the last, well, no, not. The fifth to the last. I'm like the... I'm like the fourth, no, fifth to last. Cause there are four, more, four other people on my bus. Yeah, four other That's people that are with me. Should I sit today's good? Yeah. Maddox. Sir? Make sure you bring your hat home and everything else that you left to school this week, okay? Yes, sir. Probably. How do you forget a hat that's supposed to be on your head? That's a good question. Very good question. Maddox? Sir? How do you forget your hat it, it was on your head? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> your bus, sir. Okay. Hey, have a great day or not. Bye. Oh, yeah, before my kids walk out the door, they know they're getting asked a question. Hey, make it a great day or not. And they respond with, the choice is mine, because it is. The, the choice that you have to make your day great or not is yours. Good morning, brother. Good morning, Vicky. How are you? You still sleep? Thank you. Have you let Teddy out this morning? Mm-mm. Why? When I went down there to check, he didn't do nothing. What do you mean he didn't do anything? Nope. Yeah. Like, didn't bark or nothing. Just looked go, at me. Go let him out. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Lena, they're going to let you turn those projects in for when you, we had Corona? Uh, yeah, I'll check. I'll check with them. All right, you need to check on that. Yes, any, any tests? Any tests today? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Any study guides that came no, home last week? No, ma'am. You okay. sure? Yes, ma'am. I mean, yes, sir. I'm sure. Okay. Look, them grades better look like something when you come home this evening. Yes, ma'am. What time is it, buddy? You have your watch on? Mm-hmm. 7.20. Oh, okay. You have a few minutes. You have everything you need for today. Yes. yes you have everything you need to make it a great day or not. Yes, ma'am. Because what? The choice is mine. Absolutely. You are a king and what? Not a clown. Because clowns cannot be kings. And will never be kings. And there we go. Because <laughs> I don't know if I just said that right or not. <laughs> you probably do not. Like, probably. All right. Hey, we are here for that. I love you. Love you, too. Have a good one, okay? Yes, sir. All right. I'm gonna just stop doing anything around. I'm gonna stop doing anything around here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop doing anything. <clears throat> Why would you do that, Joaquin? Why would you start something and then finish it? I mean, how fair is that to me? <laughs> I don't it's, get it. You know what? Our parenting styles are so different. Very. I, well, Landon, no, no, I won't Landon, say that. No, Landon, no, no. When it comes to our parenting style, who would you rather have? My parenting style or mama's parenting style? I don't think I should answer that. I really don't. Boy, <laughs> no, seriously, answer seriously. the question. Uh, answer it honestly, too. Right, mama's. Mama's. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> See, and what, uh, what I love about this, I got him on camera. You can never go back and say, well, I like you best. Here. No, I got you on camera. You and your mama. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
you're more gentle with things and it like it use the right word gentle i am gentle it, it like helps you think more and like you know calm the situation boy life ain't, life ain't gentle you I gotta know. be able to think on the fly go go go, go catch your bus right hey brother not wait huh? He's in about right now. He's still thinking about his answer. He's about at 7.32. What time is it? Uh, 7.30. He's still oh. <laughs> thinking about his answer. I mean, but he's, you're rough, Joaquin. I, Not all kids need rough. Not all of them need to be rough. Life. Not to be handled tough. This world is rough. Yes. Wait till you get out there. They ain't gonna handle you like mama. Okay, but then, no. No, they're not, they're not gonna handle him as gentle as I do, but I give him an opportunity to think a little bit more. And I give him an opportunity to make a quick decision. So that would be my parenting style. Let's talk about it. Because there might be something that lies behind the decision you just made. It calls for you to take a moment to step back and think before you respond and react. That's right. See, those quick reactions can get you in some really quick trouble. Mm -hmm. But it's at a tempo. You in the sixth grade, nobody better not push on you or anything. We definitely have to ask Max, Max that question. I'm not asking Max that question. <laughs> I really want to know which parenting style he likes. I'm not asking Max that question. No, <laughs> seriously, because he might like yours because he's so much like you. Yeah, Max, mm -hmm. Max will mouth me. And he's off the rip. I mean, he's off the rip. I mean, he just comes with it. I know, Meg, well, the girls oh, will probably I'm say definitely that. not asking Megan. Oh, I mean. Yeah, so. Megan will go, she will go into dialogue. So she Dialogue. Not everybody needs to be, um, but you know though, you've learned over the years as being a father that the kids are different. So they need those different types of styles. Yes, all of them are. So, okay. But they need balance too, so. I was gentle, but I definitely couldn't be rough. But sometimes I think with Megan though, you kinda. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You you kind of created a monster there. But Stacey, you 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 were tough on the kids when it came to their grades. Respect and grades and respect. Mm -hmm. I was tough on them. Just period. Yeah. You didn't veer one way or the other. And I think I was more, and I think I probably still am that way. This is the thing, though. Our parenting styles work so well together. Like we truly balance each other out. I didn't sleep good at all. I had a dream that she was having an affair with the secretary and we don't even have a secretary. <laughs> <laughs> See, this one wake I tossed and turned all night. I didn't want to wake you up though. You are my secretary. <clears throat> well, I think it makes sense, but I did like kind of put some gold bond and some hot sauce down your drawers because she was having an affair. You know how my dreams are, babe. <laughs> babe, breakfast. You just got up, Stacey. I've actually been up for a minute in the room, but I mean, just coming out here. Okay, you cooking? <clears throat> <laughs> really? I'll cook. I'll cook. Oh, okay. So I got cooked this morning. I'll cook that. Thank you. To a lot of people's surprise, I take care of all of the household um, chores, as you may call them. Um, if most women or wives came to see our everyday life, it would be a lot of husbands hating me. Hating. Matter of fact, watching this show right here, a lot of y'all gonna hate me now. You said, um. The croissants. How you wanna do those? Maybe they need to be buttered with honey and in the um, air fryer for like two to three minutes. My wife doesn't do anything. Doesn't wash dishes. We have kids for that. My wife doesn't sweep floors. She don't wash clothes. She don't even, how can you be the last one to get out the bed and I gotta come back in the room to make the bed? I, I don't understand it. You, you, could have, you could have done that when I was cooking the shrimp and grits? I very well could have done that. If you would like to pass those to me on a one of those little things, I will do it right now, baby. On one of the little things? On one of the, the little racks. I'll do it. Don't worry about this. 
Woosa. What do you mean don't worry about it? Woosa. You see, you don't want me to do it. Woosa. Woosa. Like, I do nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. When it comes to sweeping, mopping, dishes, and, I, and cooking, nah, I don't do nothing. He's, he's, he's telling the truth. No lies. Baby, any concerns about the boys that you have right now? Only concern I have is Landon saying that your parenting skills were better than mine. When it comes to our parenting style, who would you rather have? Me too. Right, mamas. Mamas. Landon's just like his mama. You know, you, you see how he said, um, mama. See, see, he thought about saying me just to please me, but he'd go always side with his mama. Hey, who he run to? His mama. Mm-hmm. He didn't say better. He didn't say that. He did not. You, you asked, whose parenting skill would you rather have? He did not say that my parenting skill was better. So what, when I pick, when I choose someone over somebody else, what does that normally mean? That just means that they prefer that, not that it's better. So is that what happened to me? You prefer that? Are you serious? Like, really? We're talking about children right now. There were children involved, too. At some point, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to not do that. Okay, but anyway, uh, back to parenting. Thank you. My parenting prepares them for more in the world. Yes, it does, <laughs> Joaquin. I have to agree. It does prepare them for more in the world, and I totally agree that for, for you, you definitely bought the balance as opposed to how I was. Mm -hmm. When he's all the way up here, I can kind of come up to bring him to that middle ground and he will listen. Now he will. I mean, I was big on discipline, but there were just specific areas of discipline that I focused on. Yes. And you took, I mean, definitely from what your upbringing was. I was reared. I am more direct. I am more direct. My, my wife would sit down and talk to her eight-year-old daughter, our eight-year-old son, and ask them, what do you think? I didn't want to confuse you. I did not want to confuse our kids. Look here. I'm daddy. She's mama. Do what we say do. You have your style of the nurturing, mm -hmm. and I had my style of nurturing, but mine wasn't so much nurturing. Mine was what? What you call it? Dictator. I want no dictator. We a dictatorship. Joaquin's a tyrant. He's a um, dictator. He's um, mean. He's very firm. You know, I like to just call him those things because that's what I used to call him in the beginning of uh, our relationship and marriage. The boy was something else. When it came to the kids, yeah. Initially, I feel like that's how you came in. Okay. You don't have to agree. Okay. We don't have to. I think that the way you came into the relationship trying to force your disciplinary style well, on the kids was, at that time. Do you think it was forced or do you think it was just my style was different so it seemed that way because it was a little bit more brash? Forced? <laughs> I mean, it was forced. No, no, no. It's no. just the men you dealt with, they weren't. <laughs> yes. True, the men that I dealt with were not as forceful or firm. I'll put it mm -hmm. like that, as mm -hmm. firm as you were. However, I still feel like you came in with this mindset that I have to be, you know, this mucho macho man and what I say goes and just, well, I, mean, I mean, but you think about it, it was a military background. Then it was from your background being raised by the country folk you were raised by. <laughs> the, <I> country, mean, <laughs> the country folk. <laughs> Talking I mean, about people. No, I mean, it's just... just whatever, country people. So, and for me, the discipline style was just so much like my mom that I said I would never raise my kids like that. That's where, I think that's where our parenting styles really differ. Mm -hmm. Because what we, I mean, what you saw in me reminded you of... So much of my mom and yes. how she raised and disciplined us. Yes. And I, and think I thought that it was just too much. I think that's where a lot of the, the, um disconnect came from. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, it wasn't that I was coming in force, I didn't know how to be a father. 
blending our family has probably been the single most difficult thing I've ever had to do in my life. Learning how to be a husband when I'd never been a husband. Learning how to be a father when I'd never been a father. Um, going from single to a ready-made family in the snap of a finger. The most difficult thing I've ever had to do. So everything right. I was, all I needed you to do was help me or teach me in those areas or help me along in those areas. But because of my style or because of my demeanor and my, my approach, it reminded you of your childhood. So that's where we had a lot of the, yeah. That, the that is where a lot of it broke down at is because it reminded me so much of my childhood. Yeah. But then you say, I needed you to teach me. You weren't willing at first for me to teach you. Because you weren't trying, you weren't trying to teach me. You were trying to run me. <laughs> And we weren't, and you know I wasn't going for this. I was not <laughs> no. trying to run you. Yeah. Yeah. It was always teachable moments. You're right, teachable moments. It was not trying to run you. I mean, don't even use okay, that this word. Is, this is teaching. This is teaching. I would like for you to do it this way. Or, or this right here could have been a little different. Not this. Why can't you need to, first of all, put your hand down. Remember, I used to always teach First of all, that ain't what I used to do. <laughs> Western girl, you to come out of you, girl. <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> baby, that? honey, honey. Stacy. Oh yes, sir. Yes. If you want to do this, please come and do this. You want to do it? No, I want to send this email. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send the email. You finish cooking. You get on my nerves. So, but yeah, I I did. I did have to learn. I, I have to agree with you. I had to learn how to approach and deliver. Um, how I really wanted it to be done. Mm -hmm. Or my, um, I'm not gonna say disapproval of it, but I had to learn how to approach and deliver my concern behind the way you did it. Was, it, went, was it your concern or just because it wasn't done your way? It was concern. Like really, think about how I was raised and what that discipline looked like. I saw that so much in you, and I always told myself that I would never raise my kids like that. So therefore, it wasn't about the way that I wanted it to be done. I didn't mind you coming in and creating that balance for me. What bothered me was how you came in and created the balance. Got you. And this is what I used to always tell you. Um, I. I wasn't trying to be their friend, and I understand what you say. It ain't about to be a friend. Hate that statement. Yeah, I know you hate the statement. Mm -hmm. But even our daughters will tell you now how much they benefit from it now. Yes, and I, and I understand that okay. going going through the process, it didn't seem that way. And I can, I can truly say I could have been more nurturing, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have that growing up. I had tough love, get it done. So. Our boys were experiencing much more loving, nurturing um, skill set from me than, they, than the girls did. Yeah, I totally agree. They did. They do. Yeah. It's been love. And one thing I love about my girls, they always say that you never treated us any different than you treat the boys. And that was a big thing for me. I want to make sure that there was no um, any, any more or less love for all of my kids. So, who cleaned up the kitchen? I cooked. I don't know why you do that. Do what? Why would you ask that question? Why? Who's gonna clean up the kitchen? You wanna clean up the kitchen? I'll tell you, sport, you never clean up the kitchen up. I'll help you. Let me help you. Mm -mm. Okay. No, you, you can pay me back later. Okay. As long as this ain't cleaning up the kitchen, I'm good. I would even pay back. I'm fine with that. I will take what you ask. <laughs> I got the kitchen. If I don't have to clean the kitchen, <laughs> exactly. I got the kitchen. What would I you like, sir? What would you like, sir? And how would you like it? How many huh. times? Don't matter. Huh. Huh. You are terrible. Huh. Just so you know. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. I mean, breakfast was great, baby. Oh, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Oh, hey, leave my coffee there. I'll come grab it. Okay. 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 Thank you, baby. You're hey, don't worry. I can sleep. You're amazing. You know that. Mm -hmm. You're so good to me. You, you, and you make me you make me so good doing stuff like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
that one. On the next episode of That Loper Love. A hootie. Stupid. <laughs> I need you to come here with them gray sweatpants on. You stupid. I saw her walking across campus to her job and I made, made a promise to myself that day she's got to tell me no. I didn't say no. <laughs> a little boy. I, well, you, you, okay, you, so well, you are I, I would. You are a cougar. And had I allowed you to, you would have gone farther that night. But I think it was that night that really made me that really intrigued me, that really made me inquisitive mm. about you as this, you know, this young man. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more. Uh, explain that, explain that to me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He can, he can come back. <laughs> and he can wear the sweatpants. <laughs> Not sweatpants, okay. The sweatpants are fine. The sweatpants are just fine. <laughs> You, you, you do, you know that? Yeah, the sweatpants are jazz fine. I'll take the sweatpants. Then you told your mama.